Hi, this is Jordan from MyMediaTutorials.com, and I'm going to help you out a little bit with Vanishing Point. Vanishing Point basically allows you to make a um, a grid pattern and then apply an image to that pattern, and it will actually distort it that way for you. Instead of using transform tools and cutting and pasting and whatnot, all you have to do is um, first off get your image that you want to put as the background. Well, you don't have to have a background, but if you wanted to. What I'm going to do in this one is put a poster on one of these buildings, or actually both. I'm going to show you how to do both, because one is a single grid, one will be a double grid. And um, so I also have on my clipboard, I have copied a little logo from my website. So what you'll want to do at the beginning is copy something of your own that you're going to want to put on here, a poster or whatever you want. And then we're going to go to um, create a new layer above this layer. And on this new layer, we're just going to go up to Filter and Vanishing Point, Alt-Control-V for a shortcut. And you'll see that the buildings are still in there. It shows all the layers, It um, but you are on that new layer, and you have to be on that new layer, so don't forget that. I'm going to start off with this building. What you're going to first do is zoom in a little bit, because you want to be pretty precise with Vanishing Point, because if you um if you aren't it may turn out looking a little strange sometimes it takes a little getting used to and i'm just going to click you know uh maybe right here on this building and on the edge of the building very edge and then i'm going to drag across trying to keep in a straight line if you can see with all the above these red window or uh, black windows don't know why i said red and um so now we have a horizontal line now we're just going to go up to the top here and stay on the outside edge and click in the very top right corner and then you'll see that this is uh, starting to connect the dots because it'll be a four um, a four point square or a rectangle or polygon and you're just gonna make it on the outside edge here on this corner now you can see that it made a little grid there it's hard to tell because it's a blue grid I can make the grid size any any size I want make it really small and you can see the whole thing but that's good. Now you can kind of see that it lines up with the windows. All the lines should be pretty straight on. And um, now all you have to do is zoom out. Press uh, once you're on this little uh, magnifying glass. Press Alt to zoom out. Well, hold Alt and click. And I mean, now you can see that that uh, this area has a grid over it. And all you have to do now is press Control V, and that'll paste what you clipped in. Now you can see what's happening. All you have to do is drag it in there. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this little icon over here, this transform tool. And now you can see that um, I have the transform options on this item I just inserted. So I'm just gonna go and drag the corner. I'm gonna hold Shift to keep the proportions. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller because I don't want it all that large. And it's easier if it's out here. Now you can see it's a bit smaller and of course at this angle you may also want to make one a little bit taller if you want or just free transform it and you can see as it goes up the angle and everything gets smaller it goes starts to vanish as it gets further away that is what vanishing point is for so pretty simple to do that it's not all that difficult I'm gonna press delete and uh, I don't know if I can press delete to just get rid of it. Um, I'm just going to put it over there for now. And I'm going to go to uh, this icon up here, Create Plane Tool again. And I'm going to zoom in first on this other building. And I'm going to show you how to do a two-plane vanishing point uh, composition. So Create Plane. And I'm going to start off by clicking somewhere over here on this edge. And I'm going to click up here over here and then maybe somewhere way down here trying to keep it kind of square now you can see that I have a plane here and this is a 90 degree angle so it should it should turn out well if I flip it right here if I if I ended up getting these degrees right which I probably didn't but you can adjust that as um, well actually I'm just gonna undo that plane and I'm gonna make another one a different one because this one will be more precise for you you'll want to start on the side that you can see a nice line to compare yourself to which this um, reflections here and the darks over here I don't know if you can see the mouse but you can see that there's kind of a line there 
and so I'm just going to start down at the bottom of this line and make myself the start of my plane. And I'm going to drag it up to this corner and then trying to stay on this window here just try to follow your way up try to make it as straight as possible and I'm going to click there. Now you can kind of see my plane starting to go on there now all you have to do is go up to this top dot or this any side that you're going to make an ang a new angle off of and I, you're just going to uh, hold the control key and I'll bring up this little weird looking mouse and then drag you can see another plane starting to drag across you are now making a new edge it's that simple so now you have a two-edged plane if I uh, zoom out you can kinda see what's happening there and when I press control V to paste in our item over here all I have to do is well first off I'm gonna transform and make it smaller now and I'm gonna drag it over here now you can see I'm gonna rotate it rotate our item drag it a little smaller maybe a little taller and you can see that it it does the corners and also gets smaller as it gets further away. This is the beauty of vanish, uh, a vanishing point because all you have to do is paste stuff in there and you can put as many things in there as you want and it'll do the exact angles that you want. So let me press OK and you'll see what it looks like over here. Now it's made that on a new layer. You can disable it, enable it, and you can even change the blend mode because you know you're not going to have a straight up poster with the same exact um, you know properties as the building so what if we change this to overlay mode make it kind of have the reflections on it or whatever maybe we'll just want it in normal and uh, maybe make the opacity not quite full or you know you can play around with it and do what you want but that's the two methods of doing um, vanishing point I'll teach you the um, a curved building vanishing point in a separate tutorial. If you visit our site, you can see all of our other tutorials, mymediatutorials.com. Thanks for watching.